don't load your uh, videos into iPhoto. If it, you know, you can go to the Apple discussions and if you don't believe me, say, well, I've always done it. You're going to run into problems eventually. Um, and this goes for the iPhone too. It's not, you know, particular to a droid. Um, there's tons of people out there having problems. So just fair warning. Hey folks, I want to talk to you about importing footage from your droid. Now, I'd love to have an iPhone, but unfortunately they run on AT&T and you can't make a phone call with AT&T where I live. Never mind data. Anyway, let me show you here real quick. Create a new project. Uh, we're going to use widescreen because the droid records 720p. And we'll just name that droid import. You can hit import right from the phone itself. And that is located on your um, droid in DCIM directory in the camera. And um, luckily, the droid records in a format easily read by QuickTime 3GP. And let's create a new event here. Droid import. Now, one thing I have noticed with the uh, droid, depending on what uh, ROM I'm running and, and what, you know, if I have it overclocked or not, I'll get different frame rates. So, if you're trying to mix footage, um, you might be better off. Um, let's see what this is here. Okay. Let's look and, and find out what frame rate we got with this. So you'll see we did get, bring it up here so we can read it. Um, we did get almost 30 frames a second, but it is shifting from 28 to 30 frames per second. So you may want to go ahead and just run it through MPEG stream clip and lock the frame rate. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Okay, I've opened that same file uh, from my droid in stream clip and what you'll do is just export for QuickTime and then pick your format 720p and then lock the frame rate down at 29.97 uh, which is pretty standard for you know an American camera if again if you're um, if you shot this and it's and it's not 30 frames a second because you know you live in Europe and I don't know how the droids work there but if you shot it at 25 or or whatever the frame rate is for the rest of your footage you're using um, you're gonna want to go ahead and lock it down at whatever that frame rate is um, if you're not mixing footage this probably isn't important but um, you know you're you're gonna want to do this if you're mixing footage uh, just use the Apple intermediate codec AIC for short and uh, you don't need any scaling because it's shot 30p and just you know export that movie and then import the movie you just exported out of MPEG stream clip to iMovie that's pretty much it as always thanks for watching